Hey, hello, you're stuck in trial with Wolf Gorlack, a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the risk third party websites poses, private third party websites poses to our organization. And bonus, most importantly, the tip is going to be about what to do if you're running such a website. What kind of website, you might ask? Maybe something like a dating website. Maybe something like a threesome website. My wife, is, as you may or may not know, is, uh, is a sex therapist. So the, the Venn diagram of her world and my world often creates some very interesting conversations, including recently uh, this threesome website, 3 Fun, which was breached. 3 Fun, their issues, I will cover in tomorrow's video. But when the compromise was uh, reported by this pen testing partners firm, uh, they were noting that uh, many prominent business and government uh, officials had accounts on this website. We said the exact same thing happened with uh, Ashley Madison, right? Government.gov accounts, you know, mybiz.accounts, every major corporation, um, you know, foreign government accounts, every one of those. So the tip for you is this. If you're running one of those websites, if you're running a dating website, if you're running a personal website, if you're running the type of website uh, that potentially if exposed, could create issues for your users. Please implement code to prevent users from signing up with their work email addresses. Block work email addresses for personal websites. That's my ask. It is simple to do. It's very feasible. Um, if any of you guys have recently tried to sign up for a white paper or whatever, right? And anything that's behind the gated content, um, it will oftentimes say, whoa, 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 we can't use a personal email address, which is frustrating for me because I have used my Hotmail account as my personal junk mail account for going on two decades. And now these bots are like, hey, no, you can't do it. Please use your work address. I'm like, I want it, but I don't want to give you my work address. In much the same way, flip that idea if someone's trying to sign up for threesome websites or any number of uh, personal, very personal uh, activities, check them. Make sure they're using personal email addresses. And if they're not, ask them to. This is very important. This is like being a good neighbor, right? This is a good neighbor activity. Why? Because there's a high likelihood you're going to get compromised. We know this. This happens all the time. And when you get compromised, someone's going to take that username, someone's going to take that password, and someone's going to try that against the website or use that in a doxing campaign um, if the initial password reuse attack doesn't work. Uh, or use that in some sort of phishing activity or in um, an extortion campaign. Can I reuse the password? Yay, win. No. Can I use the information I can to fish them? Yay, win. No. Can I use that information to extort something and possibly cause other issues? Yay, win. No, hopefully no. You website owner, you can prevent this from happening and you can protect us, the organizations, those employees may be using your websites by simply preventing business email addresses from signing up. Please do this. It's a well-known tactic in reverse in marketing. What do you think? Is there better ways to, to protect the broader internet community from these websites getting breached? Comment, social media, hit me up.